right now let us go for in the entire trim option we have seen how to use advanced trimming we can carry out the entire trim tool using either the advanced mode or the quick mode and the options or the operations which we are going to perform using the entire trim are trim extend and cut these same operations are present over here in the quick trim extend and cut now first let us look at the trim option using the quick mode now over here I'm going to select the trim option after which identify element to trim I'm selecting this one and next you need to draw lines for example if I want to trim off this particular line I'll select it in this way and it gets trimmed like this using my left mouse button click over here and click again in this way you will be drawing an imaginary line a dotted line and the line intersects with the already existing lines and that region gets trimmed till this boundary let me show it once again I'll go with undo now suppose uh, we have this line over here using this line as a cutting edge you can trim off these three lines the vertical lines which we have can be trimmed off using this horizontal top line as a cutting element for which I can either choose the tr uh, trim elements option select this select this and then go with clicking on this clicking on this and this in this way I can select it or I'll go with undo I'll select entirely trim quick option I'm selecting this edge after which instead of selecting it using a single click I can go with this option by clicking over here once clicking again over here this presumably is a quicker method when you are going to select it two times anyways in this way you have created this trimmed edge okay I'll again go over here select this element and I'll draw this line in this way a better option would have been I can select this using this trim option select this and directly just left click over here and you have trimmed it all right apart from these trimming options we have the option to extend and to cut first let me draw a few lines over here or let us just modify the existing ones using these little points select it like this in this way all right now I'll select this Intel trim option and instead of trim I will go for extend this time and using the extend option I'm using this edge as the extension edge select this after which you need to select it over here in this way when you select this it will be extended till that particular line wherever the intersection takes place it will stop at that particular point I can even select this line in this way I can select this line in this way right click to accept it over here right click will not be undo it will be accepted all right apart from this extension we also have the option of using cut that is suppose you have created a line like this now these lines are single independent and individual lines I can cut it into a number of lines by using the cut operation over here I'll select the cut in IntelliTrim and I'll draw it in this way in this way in this way I've divided it into three lines again I'll divide this line into two now keep back get back your cursor and now you can select this this line this portion will behave like a single line this will behave like a single line and this is a other line in this way again this we had divided it into two sides this is one and this is two over here we had made three partitions so we'll be getting four lines totally one two three and four all right so basically that is what your IntelliTrim is used for to trim extend and cut using quick or advanced mode all right let me delete these now okay creating one line over here in this way
after creating this line next we have the insert vertex option the insert vertex option is used to create one more vertex between two vertices you, right now if i modify this grip points these blue dots i'll be changing the location or position of these vertices itself but i cannot add a vertex over here unless i use this option called insert vertex select this insert vertex option and click anywhere on this line wherever you click you will be inserting one vertex over there I'll click over here and in this way we have created one more vertex let me draw a line like this now i'll go with insert vertex option right now you have one two and three points i'll select it over here and in this way now you have four points or four corners four vertices whatever again i'll select this five select this six select this seven now when i select this line entirely it will have a total of seven vertices one two three four five six seven in this way you can add vertices using insert vertex option the next option is delete vertex select delete vertex and click on the vertex option it will delete that vertex and it will join the preceding and the succeeding vertices by a straight line for example over here this is one line this is one line both the lines are joined using this vertex if i delete this vertex the preceding this vertex and the succeeding this vertex are going to be joined together by a straight line click over here and in this way both of them have been joined together using a straight line that is the option called delete vertex i'll again select this delete vertex over here and in this way you have deleted again select this again select this and now this line has only two end points sorry i forgot to enter it again go with delete vertex click over here left click to accept okay in this way now you have two end points only we have deleted all the other vertices the next option over here is construct circular fillet basically these fillets and chamfers are created for objects in order to avoid sharp corners that is instead of having pointed corners we'll be creating fillets or chamfers they help us in also reducing the stress concentration usually sharp edges have higher stress concentrations so we can reduce the stress concentration by creating fillets or chamfers as well as sharp corners uh, may lead to injuries while handling the parts that is the reason we also uh, provide them with fillets or chamfers right. now let us delete this line and create one more line over here select all delete all right now i'm drawing this line over here this way one more line over here all right now we have the construct circular fillet option select this and over here you need to enter a radius value let us choose a radius value of around say 1 enter select this and select this now we have created a fillet between these two lines in this way while creating this fillet i can also go with the truncation that is truncation over here refers to the deletion of the extra portions that is nothing but trimming i'll select the same radius 1 select this line and select this line we are going to truncate that is delete the extra portions while creating this fillet again i can select this i can select this and we have deleted the remaining portions and we have created a fillet between the two selections which we made select this select this in this way you are going to create these filleted corners this is nothing but the construct fillet option again over here you also have the option of creating the fillet while truncating only the first edge select the first option select this line and select this line only the first line is going to be uh, 
truncated or deleted, trimmed off, while the second line remains as it is. Again, I can select this. This time I'm selecting this line as the first line and selecting this line as the second. So the first line gets trimmed, the second line remains as it. That is how you're going to use the construct fillet option. Let me increase this radius value to two and use this as both. I'm going to select this and select this. Now you can see the fillet radius has increased. This time it is two. I'll stop the session over here. Let us continue in the next session.